Hello, everybody. This is Steve Brizetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Cyberlink Power Director Ultimate. And here we are in Power Director Ultimate in part one of this two-part tutorial on creating DVD and Blu-ray menu structures in Power Director. Part one, we added scene markers or chapter markers to our timeline. Then we moved into the Produce workspace and clicked on Create Disk, where here in part two, we're going to actually author the disk or create a menu structure for the disk. Now under the content tab here under create disk, you'll see a list of all the videos that are on your disk. Right now we've only got our main feature, but if you were to add say bloopers just by clicking on this import power director projects or import additional movies, you could add your blooper reel, your special features, those types of things. There's plenty of room to add as many little sub features as you'd like. Now our movie here, if we go over here and click the menu structure button, we can actually see the structure of our video, which is here's our main menu, here's our main video, and then under the main video we have the three chapter markers. And we'll see those as we begin to build out our menu structure. So I'll click this little X to shut that down. We'll go over here to menu preferences and we can choose a look for our disk menu. Now there's a nice category here of templates in some in some uh, themes, including holiday, custom, depending on which version of PowerDirector you, you bought, they came with some additional templates. In addition to that, of course, you can go up here to download templates and that will open up the director zone where there are thousands and thousands of templates created by fellow users that you can download for absolutely nothing for free and use them so you have a massive library of different menus you can choose. Now, once you've applied a menu template, this is just a default. This is, I don't think is appropriate at all to my movie, but once you apply it, you can preview it. And great many of these come with animation and a great many of these come with music. If you go down here, the lower right of the screen, you can click on preview and we can see a preview of what this disc menu will look like. So a little more elaborate than you would have expected just by looking at this menu, right? Uh, and there's some pretty cool ones in here. There's one called Broadway, Birthday, Baby Room, Holiday. Uh, I'm just going to add one called Fluid. Now, Fluid won't have any pictures, so I'll just select it. You notice my options here are to apply it to all pages. So every menu has both a main page where you have links to um, your main movie and maybe your bonus features. And there's also a second level or a scene menu where you can get to the individual scenes or chapters in your movie. So these are the two different templates, and you can apply them one at a time. I'm just going to select Apply to All Pages and this will be applied to my movie. You can modify the text any way you want simply by selecting it, double clicking on it to get inside and drag across it and you can change its font and you can change its alignment and its location and position. And then you can preview that too. This also has some music, so let's see what this one looks like. little more mysterious, huh? If we double click on the scenes listing here, it will show us the scene menu and this too has its own animation and music. Now you notice there are a number of things going on there. They're animated, the uh, scenes themselves are animated as thumbnails. The text is white. We could probably change the color of the text in here. You can certainly change the music by going right down here. I do a whole chapter in the book on how to modify these individual templates. Uh, if you want to, you can permanently modify a template by selecting it here and then clicking on the modify button. A couple of these can't be modified, but most of them can. If you click on modify, this opens up a whole workspace. We can do some serious modification. You can change not only the text, but the text color and the text font. There's some character presets you can use. Uh, you can add a whole new background, animated or still background, whatever you'd like. Even add additional uh, navigation buttons and affect the button style. So a lot of cool animate. And once you modify these, by the way, once you change a template, 
When you click OK, you have the option to save your template under a new name and it will become part of the library also. And like I say, it's pretty cool stuff in here with a much larger library available here through the director zone. And there are some cool features in here for things like adding a logo video before the disk animation actually begins. Once you're all done, you simply click the burn button and it will burn a disk for you. That disk can be saved permanently on your hard drive or burnt directly to a, a DVD or a Blu-ray disk itself. Sure enough, if you want to know more tips and tricks about this wonderful program, check out the many tips and tutorials we have at moviepix.com if you want to know everything about this program, including step-by-step -step how to modify these menus and create your own. Check out the moviepix.com guide to Cyberlink Power Director. It's available at amazon.com. I'm Steve Grisetti. I wrote the book and I hope to see you again real soon.